In this video, we're going to be talking about how your history of infection leaves, leaves a permanent mark on how your immune system can then perform subsequently. This is called imprinting. And this is irrespective of whether you're vaccinated or unvaccinated. And we're going to talk about some of these differences, especially we're going to focus on a vaccinated group. My name is Dr. Mikola Rashik of Merogenomics. And before we get going, I want to remind you, we have another COVID Q&A event uh, coming up. So if you want to find out how you could get uh, free tickets to that, please stay till the end of the video and let's get going. So we probably all know by now that whether you have been vaccinated or whether you haven't been vaccinated but had natural infection, then your immune system will respond differently. That actually makes sense, obviously, because if you are vaccinated, you only respond immunologically to the spike protein versus in a natural infection, you respond to all of the viral proteins. So as a consequence, you produce post-natural infection antibodies as well as T cells that will be responding to all of the different viral proteins and that is obviously not the case with uh, after vaccination. However, there's also differences in how you can respond in terms of if you're vaccinated to the infection as well. And the reason why there are these differences to how you respond is based on the fact that when you are infected or vaccinated, you leave a permanent mark on your immune system and how your immune system responds afterwards and that mark stays for a while basically with you and it can have profound influence on how your immune system will be responding afterwards so to vaccine itself leaves imprinting as well so that means what what Whatever you got vaccinated with, you will have an imprint to that specific variant you've been vaccinated against. And that means no matter what variant in the future you then encounter, to a degree you will respond in a specific manner. And to give you an example, a publication came out recently that showed how vaccinated people respond differently to infection afterwards with Omicron or with SARS-CoV-2 variants in general, as opposed to those who've never been vaccinated for to the actual nucleocapsid protein. Nucleocapsid proteins are proteins that are found inside the virus and they are involved in, um, in collapsing the viral genome. Basically, they maintain the virus genome in place and it's the most abundant viral protein in SARS-CoV-2 and what the authors of this one specific publication have shown that vaccinated people once they infected are not as capable of producing response immunological response to the nucleocapsid protein as those who have never been back so the authors were able to demonstrate that overall vaccinated individuals were able to produce antibodies to nucleocapsid protein post-infection about 40% of the time as opposed to more than 90% of unvaccinated were able to produce antibodies to that specific protein. And the reason why the authors suspected this might have to do with vaccine and its influence is the fact that even when the viral loads were compared to be the same between whether you were vaccinated or unvaccinated when you were infected, the response was still different. So for that one specific viral load that they were looking at, approximately 15, 1-5, 15% of vaccinated were able to produce antibodies to the nucleocapsid protein in comparison to about 70% of unvaccinated. So there's a definitely vaccine specific response that determines how the vaccinated person will then respond with their immune system to natural infection afterwards. But this goes much further for the vaccinated people as well. And we wanted to talk about that, this process of imprinting specifically in a vaccinated community because very interesting work came out from both Sweden and UK showing how healthcare workers who were triple vaccinated 
were responding to Omicron infection and they had a different so first in both studies what was shown is that Omicron infection resulted in reduction of immune response then in comparison to the past variants so that's already key observation right there so for whatever reason the vaccinated people were not responding to the same degree to this particular variant in terms of their capacity to produce either the antibodies or t-cells as compared to other variants but also what was shown is that depending on their infection history they had different responses so vaccinated people who never had any infection had a much better response than those who actually had an infection before. So with the Swedish study, if the individuals were infected prior to vaccination and then they were reinfected by the Omicron, they, their response was much more reduced. So that means your infection followed by vaccination had an impact on how these individuals were able to respond subsequently. That's actually important because this means we potentially might have inadvertently mm, been ignoring natural immunity in favor of vaccination when we are now learning that such natural immunity might have been better to be left intact because of this unusual effect that now vaccinated people who had been infected with the original variant that started the pandemic as well, they have a very poor response post Omicron infection. This was also seen in the UK study as well. And um, in this, once again, in this case, it was shown that depending on a variant that the healthcare workers were infected with before being reinfected with the Omicron, if it was what they all had reduced levels of response, alpha was better uh, the, than the wild type version and the wild type version meaning the, the variant that actually started the pandemic in those back triple vaccinated individuals pretty much almost completely nullified their ability to mount immune response which might explain why so many vaccinated individuals are now being reinfected and that might actually be because of the imprinting of previous infection by a specific type of variant so um, also i can tell you that um, in the in the uk study i believe it was also shown that some of the some of the triple vaccinated individuals were not even able to mount any t-cell response but overall all of these people post omicron infection showed reduced response to the spike protein T cell production as well. So basically what we're learning right now that this imprinting because of the prior infection with the variant can have a long lasting effect and potentially detrimental effect in how the individual can then respond to subsequent infection and why perhaps Omicron might have also become so much easily infectious than what we have observed with other variants all right now so that was the, the interesting differences between the antibody and t-cell production that we can talk about between vaccinated versus unvaccinated as well as differences in the vaccinated community depending on their already personal history of infection as well if you stay with me till uh, this moment i wanted to just let you know we have another COVID q a event coming up if you want free ticket to this event um the first 10 people who subscribe to our newsletter will send you a free ticket if you are already a subscriber and you would like to get a free ticket then please email us and we'll still honor that and then uh, it's still going to be the first 10 people okay uh, so um, those are a lot of fun basically those are questions that we collect from our online audience after we answer top 10 questions then it's open mic and the audience can participate both in terms of making comments or asking questions 
and uh, if we can answer the questions we'll do some of our own research science research as well and we'll go from there and then we we have another event coming up this is uh, in collaboration with two of my colleagues and together we put together a specific package for business owners to be offered to their employees which teaches about how to achieve best personal well-being because we cover it from three different angles this is uh, financial well-being mental health well-being as well as my area which is which is physical health well-being with a twist of genetic uh, testing and if you want to find out more about this information to all of this of how you can get access to to these tickets is in the uh, description below so we hope to see you there and of course if you like this uh, content please give us a like subscribe to the channel share the video leave a comment and once more big thank you to all of you who have uh, donated money through super thanks greatly appreciated and we look forward to seeing you next time bye everyone